About services, uh, so quite a bit has been mentioned by Amina, but I wanted to, to, to add the following. Number one, that many of our countries, many African countries, can get market openings, but they do not utilize the opportunity that comes with those openings. This is what I was talking about, coherence between negotiations and national activity. If you look at uh, Mauritius, Mauritius is very interesting. To me, it's the best example of an African country which has found synergies between enterprise and nego trade negotiations. That all the time, for example, they decided a few years ago that by 2016, 80% of the GDP of Mauritius is going to be out of services. And they have already achieved, achieved it by 2015, one year ahead of time. Today, that economy which originally was a sugarcane economy and then it turned into export processing for textiles, today is a financial services and debulking and shipping services hub. It is doing, what's it doing? It's bringing large ships from, the East, from East Asia, debulking them into smaller consignments, and distributing them around East Africa. It's offering a service that actually naturally belongs to Mombasa. And the main, the main client of Mauritius on shipping services is actually Eastern Africa. But because they have an idea about market possibilities and how do they invest in competence, in the logistics, in backstopping those who go into these enterprises. So another thing is, services is like agriculture, it's like manufacturing. An area where you are most competent, you want liberalization. And that's what's naturally normal for a country. If Kenya is the most efficient producer of roses, it should tell all the world, let us globally abolish all taxes on roses. Those who are less efficient than you are the ones who will be complaining about flooding, or uh, uh, crowding us out of the market. They're the ones who want barriers to free movement of roses. That's the same with professional services. Kenya is the leader in ICT-based intellectual resource, perhaps in the whole of Africa, particularly certainly in Eastern and Central Africa. You are the leaders in trained personnel for the hospitality industry. You are the leaders in accounting services. You know, uh, on global value chains these days, this services industry, services sector of global value chains has become such a powerful tool that some countries like China now are offering training at universities on how to maximize entry levels in the services on global value chains. And the thing is, you start defining what is in our interest. In Kenya's interest, you want a global agreement, particularly around Africa, that uh, professionals, uh, people in insurance and accounting services, people are in the trade law, people are into tourism and other related hospitality industry, people are into ICT, should have free movement and right of employment with domestic equal treatment across Africa. You should champion that because you know when those doors are opened, you stand a chance to be the best beneficiaries from it.